Hey, what is happening, my brothers? Each day, each, and I am back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Play Review. And as you can see, we got Marshall Falk. Flip the back. We look at the attributes. Guys, it's not attributes. Please don't listen to some of these clowns who keep saying that. It's attributes. Get it right. Um, you know, the 95 speed, 97 acceleration. Um, decent on, I mean, I, I like it faster, but there's only a few guys that are anyway. Um, this guy's going to really be good in the uh, receiving options, you know. Um, probably one of the better all-around guys as far as that goes, you know, between a mix of um, decent amount of, you know, running with catching abilities he's probably got the best of all of it um but let's let's go out there uh you know first play of every game you know pretty much i'm going to run the wide trap i just always do it i like to see i don't come out i want to see the defense is running so it's kind of like my base run it's like a, it's like tradition at this point point. and right there i get caught up on the uh my pulling guards uh leg there and you know what can you do it's not his fault it's going to happen on occasion um and here we go, the bobbing, the back and forth, you know, um, very good. Um, you, you might have seen this clip in another one of the videos, uh, you know, I was putting the gameplay on. But, again, when he, you know, if you you can stay off of the speed burst button, you get great movement with this guy. Um, you know, it's weird how this game is with that. Um, it really, that, that kills your running. And you see right there, that was the end of the second. I just need to get a first, and he goes and plows over guys. You know, surprisingly, his strength isn't too high. I'm willing to say it's like a 69, but, you know, he, he's able to run through people pretty well well at least fight for a couple extra yards when you really wouldn't think he's capable of that um you know and I, and that's you know one thing maybe down the road I'd like to try Barry for because that's you know when you're comparing him to Barry um you're going to get the receiving you know attributes on on Marshall and here's another one look at that right through the hole again and, and you're going to get a little bit more strength on the Barry it's really kind of the only difference uh, between it you know other one one here and there on each one nothing nothing major though. the speed's gonna be the same um Next game again, and here we go. You know, like I say, this is that's just I'm going to start off all my games like that with that run. Uh, but again, um, you know, he's fighting, and he look at this. We swing him out, nice little spin move, and we are gone. Just dusted him. Um, that's just a, a play I've been tinkering with, and you know, this is coming into this was uh, the uh, all Madden first, so we got some decent opponents in this one, and really uh, some of these games were kind of more of a struggle. I was just not really playing too well lately. I I. Every so often I get into that mode where I don't have a great variety of plays and I start running the same stuff and, you know, I guess maybe I need to maybe have a list down sometimes just to refresh my mind because I get, you know, every so often I get in a little rut and that's kind of where I'm at with this review. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You know, we, we fight through it. Um, you know, we're still making plays. We're still enough to see. But, uh, you know, just insight to where I'm at, you know, every so often updating what I, where I'm at with it. Um, and that's one of those plays in that little tight eye formation. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you get the block, and sometimes not. And there we go with Marshall. Easy going to hit those. Um, you know, counters are going to be really good with him. You know, he, he's he's kind of good all over the place. Again, a lot of it's just, um, I think the biggest thing with him is the control. So if you've got that with him, uh, you're going to do pretty well. Um, you see, I can stop on a dime and come back in. I mean, I overran that play. I really should have turned it in earlier. I mean, but that's that's stuff on the user, not necessarily the card. Um, right there again, nice nice spin. He's able to to make that and, and come in and fight. Um, I believe I've only had one turnover with the guy here, where uh, lost ball, and you know. And here's here's a match. Um, this guy, I swear I played him in PS3 last year. Um, this FSU Seminoles, and I remember a guy there had the same. He wore the Redskins same uniform, so he can get the uh, you know the the same logo on there. But it's got to be him. Um, and he was definitely a strong opponent there. It was a, it was a Definitely, this was a challenging game uh, offensively for me. Um, but, you know, there we go in this one. And this was second half, and I finally break through. Um, as you see, I didn't run a lot on there. I was actually falling in because he's one of those guys who's got a couple really good blitzes. And, like, it doesn't matter. They run around your tackles. It's really hard to pick up. Um, I tried a lot of things. But, you know, then in the second half, I started figuring, you know what? I probably should have been grounding the ball. I was playing into his strength too often. Um, you yeah, know, right there, I might have been able to get around the edge, but again, he's, you know, he's, he's getting hit and he's fighting for the yards. So, you know, it's something I think that really is going to be undervalued with a guy. You can run up the middle and you surprisingly pretty well. I mean, anybody who's going to hit you straight up, he's, he's not going to, you know, he's not going to bowl him over like a big guy. But, you know, if, if he comes through that hole at a little bit of an angle on somebody, he normally slides off him pretty well. And you can see he's taking a lot of big shots, um, you know, especially in this game. He took a lot of big shots, and for the most part, he holds on to the ball. Um, the, I think the only time that you'll see in the next game, 
And this one, like here, this is clutch. That right there, that was needed the first down to win it, and basically runs right up the middle. So get about nine yards of carry in that game, um, you know, and he he seals the the victory for me. Um, my defense really bailed me out a ton in that game. That was actually a really great game. Um, and here we go again, starting off. You know, he gets hit and he spins. Uh, you know, pretty nice. And again, you've seen that play a couple times, but it's a nice little wheel out for him on this other. It's you know, it's already a wheel route on the tight end, and then I will change a couple things with the Calvin on there. Sometimes I'll bring him over the middle, sometimes I'll bring him on a streak, just depending on what I want to do. And fourth and inches, I don't really worry about you know with with Marshall in there. If he's if he's the guy who's in, I'm going to do that. And nice, you know, on these little uh, little swings, little stuff like that. I mean, that's that's easy, and most guys catch that, so that's nothing uh, nothing too strong. And here you can see I did pick up. <laughs> the uh steven jackson the other rams back so i got the rams backfield right now and that's his first carry and tell you what the guy's kind of a tank isn't he um here we go with falk again i didn't need to spin i should have ran that one straight up the middle here's the play i'm talking about where he fumbles on but this is not his fault watch upshaw missed the block completely i you know i i if i had 99 carry i would have dropped the ball right there um because i anticipated that block being picked up uh, not just just running right by the guy so um, there we go with a nice and fourth, you know, fourth quarter now. I've got to make the comeback, and he hits the corner for me. Um, you know, I, I do miss the speed a little bit. I'll be honest, I do miss that a bit. But and as you can see here, I'm going to start mixing in a little bit of Jackson because I'm getting a little tired with uh, with Falk. I need to mix it up. Um, and Jackson is a perfect uh, number two for this guy. Any of these speed guys, he uh, I find. You know, this is my first game with him, but I've ran a few now, and he's been great. Here we go again. I need I need the big carry. I'm going to let Falk come up the middle. I don't have to worry about it. You know, he's going the guys are going to slide off him. Uh, he's a tough little guy. If I really had to give you a com comparison to who he is or who he reminds me of, he's basically he's Andre Ellington. He, with a little bit better control, a little bit stronger. And, hey, guys, that's why you don't run commit, okay? Um, <laughs> I had the perfect play call. I guess that counter was just perfect for it. He thought I was going to rub the middle and kill the clock, and uh, I, I burned him on that. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely – this guy is just a better version of Andre Ellington. Um, and now that the price has gotten a little bit lower on it, I definitely would say he's worth it. And here we go. First play of the game, and this is why I run this play. This is very nice. You see that, you know, from the first bit, it looks like that he might have dove on the ground over there, the opponent, but really – he was just bound down to the greatness of Marshall Falk, if you watch it on replay. So, <laughs> here we go. So, uh, he's going to break a few plays for me, bigger plays. Hey, and there's Outwater. Come on, man. You can't just throw the crush your body on me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in and get that. Look at this tough guy. Nice, nice. Um, so, we get the ball back. So we get some more chances here to get some, uh, get some runs in. But, um, like I say, he's... Not, you know, I, I'm so used to the Jamal stuff again. You know, plays like this... They're, they're easy to make with Jamal in there, and I'm always just I'm thinking, am I going to get around the corner? And he just barely does. You know, he will he will get there for you, but um, again, though, he's a better blend, definitely a better blend. And there's there's some Jackson. Look at that. He even comes back to just to roll somebody over. Luckily, I got the, uh, you know, the eight yards, and they didn't mark me backwards like the game likes to do. But here we go again. Falk up the middle, not a problem. He just, you know, slides off the defender and keeps on going. Um, I think that all in all, I'm selling them. I'll be honest, um, but I was I was happy with the performance from them, and it's and it's been you know under it's like 275k with the the prices right there. Um, if you're somebody who wants to pass the ball a lot with your running back, he's kind of a no-brainer. Um, or or you know, if you're somebody who does a little bit of outside, doesn't live on the edge like kind of like I do, and wants to turn a lot of those in, or just every so often run between, uh, he's really good at that. Um, you know, surprisingly. Again, with only the 69 strength, he's surprisingly he's a pretty tough guy. That that one fumble, like I say, that was all I had there. And these, you know, these uh, little swing routes and stuff like that is money. Here we go. This guy has a chance to just to kind of lock it down, go up by six with a minute 35. I'm out of timeouts, and he pushes it right. Just a tough break for him, man. You know, he goes on there just on the verge. You know, and I threw I think like three picks in this game. I just was just playing awful. You know, every yeah. <laughs> I probably really should have won this by a decent amount, but, you know, unfortunately, when you make mistakes and uh, you don't let the other guy capitalize on them, you know, you don't deserve to beat anybody at that point. So, luckily, he misses that, and then uh, I have Steven Jackson in here, so he's going to tank it away and give me the win. Um, all in all, guys, it, it is a very good card, one of the best all-around cards in the game, um, and he's definitely worth the price he's going for right now. But, again, I mean, I would surely have a good strong number two with him like like most guys he has that 99 stamina but he's gonna wear down on occasion you know if you overuse him 
Um, thanks, guys. We will see you again next review, and best of luck to y'all.